guys it is Kyla um, in today's video we are going to be including my baby Penelope say hi can you wave okay um, so today's video as you can see by the title is going to be kind of an update on her as well as um, just some things I wish I knew before becoming a mother a fur mother but still a mother okay um so you're free to go oh so first things first i'm just going to give you guys like an update on her so my dog is a 4.2 pound yorkie um she is i guess technically teacup size i didn't know she was going to be teacup size when i got her but here we are um i got her on august 17th of 2021 so in this upcoming august it will be two years which is crazy um she was born june 18th two days after me <laughs> well okay not two days after me her birthday's two days after mine um she is black brown and well she's turning gray now um i'll insert a picture here of what she looked like um, when i very first got her she was mainly black um, but now that she's getting a little bit older, you know, her colors are changing, which I learned is not uncommon for Yorkies. So that's pretty much it as far as like the information about Penelope um, when I got her and all that good jazz. Um, if you guys want to, you can check out my video. It'll be up above of when I did get her. It was very emotional. Um, so you can go check that out if you'd like. But we're going to hop right into the things I wish I would have known before I'm going to break it down. So the things I wish I would have known before getting a dog period, before getting a Yorkie period, and then before getting my Yorkie. Okay. Because there's levels to this whole thing. So we're going to start with what I wish I would have known before getting a dog period. Um, so I'm going to grab my iPad just so I don't forget anything. And then we're going to get right into it. Okay. The first thing that I wish I would have known before getting a dog period was the fact that dogs are really like children. Um, you know, you see, I've never had a pet before my adult life when I was like moved out and everything. So I don't know, I didn't know any of the ins and outs of like what it's like to be a pet owner, let alone being the sole pet owner. Um, and it's, I'm not gonna say it's exactly like having a child, but it's giving parenthood, okay? Like you have to, feed them, bathe them. You don't have to clothe them, but you have to buy like collars and harnesses and stuff like that. So it's like, you know, that's kind of like clothing them. She does have clothes because I'm extra, but you know, it's, it's like having a child. Um, I didn't realize how much my life would revolve around her. Um, when I got her, you know, I was, I will say, this is me being completely tra completely transparent. I was very unprepared to get a dog. Like I was just under the impression, oh, I'm you know I want some a companion. It'll be fine. It'll be nice. It'll be sweet. Great. Get the dog. It's gonna be sunshine and rainbows. I don't know which one of you lied to me and said I wasn't gonna see no monsters until later in the game. I just see that mother. Yeah, because immediately no, immediately no. It was ghetto from the very beginning, um, especially if you're getting a puppy. I got her when she was eight weeks old, so she didn't know nothing, okay? And I didn't know nothing about teaching a dog nothing, so I really set myself up for failure, but it's fine because we made it, okay? Um, but the main thing I wish I would have known is, like, the amount of time and money and, like, preparation you really need to do before you get a dog especially a puppy that is like straight from the mom to you I wish I would have known that because I would have been a little more prepared as far as that aspect you know learning more about just being a pet owner in general as far as just dog being getting a dog in general things I wish I would have known that's pretty much it just being more prepared to take on the responsibility of you know being responsible for a uh, another life um now as far as yorkies in particular i wish i would have known um how bossy they are because she has an attitude problem and 
I've learned that that's a Yorkie thing. Um, also, how clingy they are um, is ridiculous. Like, she wants to be in my skin at all times. And it's like, I love you, but I, 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 I have to do stuff, okay? I can't carry you around like a baby, even though I want to. I can't. Um, another thing I wish I would have known, which is not a bad thing, um, which really none of this are bad. None of these things are bad things. It's just things that would have been nice to know. Um, but I didn't know Yorkies were hypoallergenic. Again, my fault because I did no research besides this is how I want her to look, you know. Um, but Yorkies are hypoallergenic. So that's really good if you are allergic to um, pets. Yorkies are great options because I do have pet allergies. Um, the only thing I will say is I am allergic to her saliva. And if it like gets, if I, she licks my hand and I like rub my eye by accident, it'll turn really, really red and itch and water and run and everything. So other than that, she does not shed. Um, she does not cause me any like allergies in that way. And I'm really grateful for that because I would hate to have to, you know, give her the boot because that's my baby. Um, I think that's it as far as like Yorkies in general. My Yorkie, okay, is a whole different ball game. I did not know, like I said, I did not know she was going to be teacup size. I thought I was getting a regular, regular, old, normal size Yorkie. And I should have known because she was literally this big when I first got her. And she's this big now. So, I mean, I'm actually really glad that she is that size because I don't think I could handle a bigger dog. Um, just because, uh-uh. Okay, listen. I can buy a four-pound bag of food, and that will last me, like, two and a half months. And she eats the recommended size and everything. I'm not neglecting her. But that bag costs $25. My sister has a pit bull and she pays like the dog eat like a 50 pound bag of food a week. Who has money for that? Because I don't. OK, another thing, everything that is like expense wise for her is very affordable for me. Her vet bills are a lot cheaper, like she gets medicine every month for like fleas, heartworms and all that stuff. It's like $11. My sister's dog is like 30 a month. No. Uh-uh. Like, I, if I did have the dog, I would pay for it, obviously. But I'm glad that, you know, she's very affordable. What else is um, her grooming? Very affordable because she's so tiny. Like, everything is affordable, okay? Um, another thing that I wish I would have known is the fact that I would love her so much. Like, when I tell you I feel like I'm, I am a mother, nobody's going to take that from me. I'm sorry. I may be a different mother than you, but I'm a mother, okay? It's like, okay, I have a new MacBook, okay? I got it in 2022, so last year, January of 2022. You want to know why I had to get a new MacBook? A perfectly, before I had a perfectly good MacBook Air, um, worked fine, was great. Because she chewed it up. Okay. And it was my fault because you don't leave a teething, what, two month old puppy around anything. Yeah, she chewed it up. So I had to get a new one. But it's just the simple fact that, yes, I was very, very upset. But it's like, this is my child. I can't get rid of her, you know? So it's like, if I had known I was going to love her this much, I would have prepared better because this is like, don't, don't, don't like when people don't say they don't play about their kids. I don't play with my kid. I don't play with my child. Anywho, another thing that I wish I would have known was you do not need all the extra stuff. Literally, before I got her, I started buying stuff to prepare for her, like play pens, toys, blankets, um, poop bags, potty pads, food, bowls, literally buying so much stuff. All you need 
is food and water bowl something that they, that is their area so a kennel or a pen she has a pen because she's tiny and all the kennels that i could find were the holes are too big when she when i first got her um a blanket you know just be nice a bed a leash and a collar or a harness that like them the, that's the necessities you don't need all the crazy stuff like eventually you may want to get it but don't go like all out when you are first getting your dog especially on treats and toys because I spent a good chunk of money on both of those things and she didn't like any of them so I literally had to throw them away for because she wouldn't eat them so like wait until you know your dog and then, you know, start buying that stuff. Because if you buy a whole bunch of different stuff, like, I don't know what she's going to like, so let me just buy everything. You're going to waste money. So don't do that. Okay. Now that we've covered all the things that I wish I would have known, some tips that I have. Um, the main one would be just do your research. Um, make sure that you are fully, like, aware of everything that comes with the dog. Um, just be prepared as far as information-wise. Because it's really, really irresponsible to just get you know a dog and not know really a little bit about it um all I knew was they were cute there was one for sale and I wanted a dog that's all I knew I didn't know that once I got her I was gonna have to give her corn syrup to make sure she didn't die from you know diabetes because Yorkies can get that another tip is make sure that you're mentally ready for a dog especially if you're like I say especially if you're getting a puppy um, just because they are like babies they don't know anything yes they have certain instincts but they don't really know anything you have to train them you have to teach them and you have to be patient with them because again they're learning and they're not just gonna be you know the dogs you see on Instagram where they're sitting rolling over giving paw giving kisses you know, showing all signs of maturity and personality right from the get-go because guess what? You got to teach them that. And it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of training. It takes a lot of patience. So you have to be mentally ready to be patient like you would with a baby or like you would with a child. Another tip I would say is to make sure you have, like I said, being patient and everything is good, but make sure you have the time and the money to properly care for the dog vet bills ain't cheap grooming and maintenance ain't cheap especially if you get a yorkie because one yorkies they have they they have the closest thing to hair that a dog can get okay so they shed or they don't shed they get tangled easily they mat easily so you have to you know keep them good in maintenance and i learned that the hard way she okay. needed well she didn't need to be spayed, but she did need to be spayed because um, I just she's too small for me to feel right to let her have babies for one. For two, I knew that she wasn't going to, you know, be bred. So down the road, you know, if she did not, she did end up not getting spayed. It would increase her risk for cancer. Well, I could have said, no, that's OK. I'm not spending the however many dollars to get her spayed because I don't want to spend that money or I don't have the money. Well, when she got spayed, the vet found a pyometra and I don't know if y'all know what that is, but you can Google it. Basically, she could have died if she didn't get spayed. So it's like if I hadn't have had the funds to make sure that was done, even though it's an elective surgery, a preventative surgery, it's right. like I would have lost my baby. So it's like make sure you're prepared mentally, financially and um time-wise last but not least um, I would say it's very important to be careful who you allow to meet your dog and I know some people would think that's over exaggerating or whatever but I am a firm believer in if my dog okay didn't know me from a can of paint could spend three days with me and love me to the death of her that means she can spend three days with somebody else and love them to the death of her. So I'm very, very, I'm very, very diligent 
I was about to say vigilant. One of them words makes sense in this sentence. I'm very careful about who I bring around her just because it's always been us. So anybody else that I introduce in the mix, she's going to, you know, cling to very easily. And I don't want people to meet her and not be a permanent part of her life. Um, because just as I would, if, you know, I had an actual child, I would do the same thing because I care about her emotions because I know she got them because she showed them to me every day. So, yeah. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please leave a like, a thumbs up. Um, if you like me, subscribe, become a part of the family. And um, I think now I'm just going to go through and like show you guys a bunch of pictures and videos of my journey with my teacup Yorkie. And yeah, see the craziness that I have endured for the past almost two years, year and a half. See you guys in my next one.